Now what if I told you that I, as a Jamaican, was scammed by a Trinidadian woman? And what if I told you that she caught feelings for me? But I'm not sorry for what I'm about to do. I'm going to reveal who my scammer is. If you guys saw part one of this video, you'd know that my initial contact to get me to Trinidad, I said her name was Kay. Kay's real name is... Oh yeah, me people you don't know this is your boy Yadman Eaton. And this video is brought to you by OnoHeritage.store. Yo, OnoHeritage. Yo, that hoodie look sick. Yo, thank you so much, Uno Heritage, for this. Yo, people that make sure say Uno support Uno Heritage and click the link in my bio right now and get Uno own Uno Heritage shirts or hoodies or sweaters or whatever. Yo, hold on. And I know that all of you guys are not Jamaican, but remember, say Uno Heritage does more than just Jamaican stuff. Uno Heritage does African and other Caribbean countries as well. So please make sure. I'm gonna use my promo code in that store, all right? Yardman Eaton, no space. And remember, for rep on a heritage, and wear on a heritage. Yo, I am going to be completely honest with you guys. It took me a lot of energy and a lot of power. I had to really bring myself to make this video series for you guys. Because as I said before, I was hurt. I felt abused, I felt creatively violated to know that all the work that I've been doing to find out that all of this was a scam. So, allow me guys to tell you guys a true story of what really happened. It turns out that my initial contact into Yuma, K, that she's a scammer. I know a couple people in Trinidad and I contacted Yuma directly to find out that Yuma doesn't know who Kimberly Cassidy is and Yuma doesn't even know who Kay is. If Yuma doesn't know who these two people are, then obviously this is all set up from the beginning. So I know a couple people from Trinidad, in Trinidad, who did some ground research for me and I did my own research as well. I reported this entire situation to Yuma Vibes because it is wrong to use someone's brand, name, and image to scam people. It is wrong to even use their brand, name, and image without their permission. To know that I wasted an entire month thinking that I was going to come to Trinidad. An entire month of me preparing material coming to Trinidad. Me creating promo videos coming to Trinidad. Of me telling my fan base my followers, my loyal subscribers that I was coming to Trinidad just to know that all of this was a sick scam. When Kay told me that she was suffering from breast cancer, I told you guys in part one of this series that my heart was filled and that my heart went out to her because I lost someone to cancer. But when I do my research and I find out that she uses cancer to scam people out of money, to beg them out of money, and I feel as if that she never asked me for money because she started catching feelings for me. No, I know, I know, this song kind of wild. You know, yo, yard man, how do you know that she started catching feelings for you? Oh, trust me, I know. But we've reached out to people before that you tried to use a scam on to find out that after they deny you of money, you get upset? Pissed. And it's not just me, everybody upset. To know that this person who reached out to me trying to help me, to find out that you are indeed the scammer, to find out that you are the one who created all these fake emails, all these fake names, all these fake people, and then you created an elaborate story. And I admit it was quite genius, but this is elaborate story. Just so me and Jermaine could sympathize with you. You're sick. This is the definition of what a demon girl is. People them, this is my scammer. K, her name is Kiva Laborde, or however the uh -huh. fuck you want to pronounce her name, I don't care. She's the one who wasted my time, created this entire situation, and lied to me. 
I just want to big up Yuma vibes. Thank you guys for looking into this matter. Thank you guys for hearing out from me. I deeply apologize for, I don't even know. I'm sick to my stomach and I apologize to my followers and my subscribers for everything. For getting your guys' hopes up to know, just to find out that all of this was just a sick scam by some sick girl. Oh, and hold on. Hold on, and le let me say this. When I also did my research, I found out that Kiva doesn't even have breast cancer. That she uses this to scam people. No, hold on. I have lost someone important to me to cancer before. Cancer is no joke, and there are many people living in this world who don't even have money to treat their cancer. But you think it's okay to use cancer to scam people. You think it is okay to use someone's brand and image to scam people and you think it is okay to then cover your tracks just because you catch feelings for me to create sympathy for yourself you're sick kiva you are sick <sighs> and i apologize once again i know i need to start my year over but i'm just sad to inform you guys that i don't think trinidad is no longer in my plans an entire month has been wasted and it's all because of some sick scammer as a Jamaican, we know the stereotype of being labeled as scammers. And scamming is a serious, serious issue. Scamming is not just about stealing people's money. It is not just about stealing their information. But in my case, I was scammed out of my time, my work, and other things that I could just be doing, yo. And to think that this sick girl was also trying to use this situation to build sympathy for around herself that I might end up liking her more? What? Girl, let me tell you something. You're one demon and you're sick. To think that I'll be scammed by a Trinidadian. This whole scamming culture. I am ashamed to know that I am from the Caribbean and something like this is so prevalent. That something like this happens all the time. So people that make sure, if you don't have no business, make sure that no one is using your brand's image without your permission. So lastly, I just like to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for disappointing you guys. Most of all, more than disappointing myself. A scammer is a person who commits fraud or participates in a dishonest scheme. Usually when people think about scammers, they associate it with Jamaicans. Now what if I told you that I, as a Jamaican, was scammed by a Trinidadian woman? So you can do me a favor, suck your mother.